Okay, we're going to make a cheater pasta sauce. So these are the ingredients, and uh, we've got some canned mushrooms. Remember, this is cheater. So nothing is really fresh, fresh, except the onion, the garlic, and some fresh herbs. Um, red wine, of course. So we're just going to take all of this stuff, and we're going to move it off. Tomato sauce, and this is actually the key ingredient, the diced tomatoes with green chilies. It was an accident, um, and I just stuck with it because it adds that extra spice. Pasta, black pepper, uh, I've got part of a white onion, and I'll just supplement with a red onion. Italian seasoning, a little cayenne pepper, maybe. Olive oil, balsamic vinegar, and a little bit of thyme, a little bit of rosemary. Thyme, rosemary. So we're just going to start by opening up some of these cans. And I'm going to drain the mushrooms. And then we'll just get some of this stuff going. I keep all the juice in. That's good. Turn it on to uh, medium, medium high. Again, keeping all the juice in. So that was two cans of diced tomatoes with green chilies in tomato juice and one can of just regular tomato sauce. We're just going to pour the whole can in there. Now this is going to be a meat sauce. So I do have my hamburger, seal meal. I love my seal meal. Um, this will keep meats good for a lot longer in the refrigerator and it allows you to buy in bulk and to put portions in the freezer, so I'm going to cook, a, this is roughly a pound, maybe three quarters of a pound. I'm going to go ahead and slice up some of this onion. Now I slice onions a little bit differently than those people on TV. I take the rounds and I just spin them as I go. They don't have to be any particular shape. You're using them for flavor mostly. And I'm going to throw this right in with the ground beef. I'm going to do the same thing with my garlic. I'm going to mince that up a little bit more. And I'm going to put half into the uh, hamburger mixture, and I'm going to put half into oh, that was right. Half into the tomato sauce mixture. I want it fairly finely minced. I want to get all the flavor that I possibly can out of it. I'm going to stir my hamburger up a little. I like to break my meat up. Um, I want granules of meat in my spaghetti sauce. I don't want big, huge chunks. I don't want to taste hamburger, really. I just want a meaty sauce. The trick I learned the other day... Go ahead and use your potato basher. Get it all nice and broken up. Mix in those onions. Alright, so the meat's gone. This up a little bit higher. Put half in there and half in there. And a wet knife gets the garlic off nicely. Put a little more onion. seasoning in both. Probably about a 
a tablespoon total, maybe. I'll keep adding as I go, just as I taste. But I think it's really important to taste as you go. I mean, every recipe for everybody is a little bit different. Everybody has their own tastes. So you want to make it to your taste. Not mine. Not the book. But your taste. Now I'm going to put in just some... I, I drink this. They say, don't put in anything that you won't drink. Well, I'll drink some pretty cheap stuff. So, probably a quarter cup, maybe a third. A little bit of black pepper. The meat looks about done. So, we're going to go ahead and drain off the excess fat. And we're simply going to add it to our sauce. I'm going to chop this up a little bit finer. Still kind of big for my taste. That looks pretty good. I'm just going to spoon it into the sauce. And stir until it's nice and mixed in. Now see we've got plenty of juices, there's plenty of room for all of the flavors to meld and mix together. And we're just going to let that simmer for about 30 minutes, maybe 45, tasting as we go. The herbs will be chopped up um, and put in sort of at the last minute. I've already got the dry herbs in there. This will just kick it up a notch. This will doctor it up. So we've got some uh, rosemary, a plant which I successfully killed. And some thyme, which I'm now trying to grow. And I want to get everything that we can. We're just going to sort of set that off to the side. Put this in the garbage. Missed the garbage. And that's the sauce.